Hello and welcome to Marine Connection. My name is Damien. We're at the water today and we're going to be showing you our feature boat which is a 2004 Trophy 2002 walk around and it's powered by a Mercury 125 saltwater motor. Now our service department has done an inspection on the motor and everything has checked out fine. Um, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to start at the back of the boat, work our way forward, show you top side and down in the cabin, go over the features of the boat and then we'll take it out for a quick spin and show you how she performs. So, that said, starting at the transom over on the starboard side, we do have a swim platform with a recessed boarding ladder. As you can see, you have two nice grab rails on there to, for easy access on and off the boat. And then at the center of the transom, large splash well, a couple of cup holders on either side. And then you do have access down below through those pie plates that gives you access down to your bilge pumps and whatnot. Top of the gunnels, the four gunnel mounted rod holders. And then you do have two Coleman's bolsters directly on either side. And then on the aft, we have two jump seats that are removable. So for those of you that like to do a lot of fishing, you can easily take these seats out if you want a little more space back in the transom. Might as well leave this out for now because underneath of this uh, port side jump seat and the starboard jump seat, we do have two fish boxes in the deck. And then we also have a little bit of under gunnel rod storage on either side. Fish boxes do have a pump out for each box and the uh, switches are located up on the dash. A little bit forward at midship over on the starboard side once again we do have a step up to the uh, channel gun going up to the bow but we also have a live well here it is a recirculating live well and then our raw water wash down is also located over here. As you can see like I mentioned before on the 202, we do have a nice deep well that gives the access up to the bow. And you'll see in the pictures and whatnot that up there, we do have a seat, and then you also have access to your anchor compartment and whatnot. Nice high bow rail for safety, plenty to grab onto. Things a little bouncy out there, and you do have to get up there to throw the hook, you can, no problem. Coming up forward, we have our bimini top, which you can see is in great condition. The Isinglass is in excellent shape, the aluminum on the bimini as well, the canvas on the bimini is in great shape. And then we have two uh, seats, captain seats, they do have their cushions. Notice that throughout the boat the upholstery is in great condition. And this one seat over on the port side, you, can, you do have room to put a little cooler underneath, so it gives you a little more storage space. Now coming up towards the helm, we have a Matrix 12 fish binder. The system looks like it's pretty new, works great. It has a, it gives you a depth of your depth, it gives you contour at the bottom, it also gives you a temperature reading of the water. We have a compass mounted directly at the center of the helm, two windshield wipers, and then below um, on the dash here, we do have our display of gauges, miles per hour, RPMs, your uh, bolt meter, and uh, trim on the motor. Now our accessories, like I mentioned before, everything is operational at the boat at this time. You also have fair trip tabs, they're operational. Your raw water wash down, live well pumps operational, both fish pumps, uh, fish box pumps are operational, nav lights, etc. If you look carefully at the pictures, you'll see that this boat has been extremely taken care of. Uh, for being a 2004, look at the gel coat, look at the, the condition of the upholstery, the boat's just in fantastic shape. So with that said, let's take you down below in the cabin, show you the cabin, and then we'll take it out for a quick spin. Once down in the cabin, you'll see that we have plenty of room down here for a 20-foot boat, plenty of lining. We have two porthole windows and a center hatch window, so it gives you plenty of light down here. You also have your light down below, and as you can see right now, I have the table up, and uh, so if you do want to do some picnicking, you can. Uh, on the table, we do have spare sets of keys for the boat and whatnot, and we also have some owner's manuals that were left in here, so it uh, comes with the boat as well. Then, forward, I have what we have here are two filler cushions, okay? And these filler cushions, we have this insert here. If I remove the pedestal and table, we'll put that insert in, and once you put the cushions on there, uh, you'll have a full berth down here. So if you do want to overnight on the boat, you can. Um, as far as the uh, storage on the boat, 
there's a little more extra there's a little extra space coming back over here you can't see on the camera but right now we do have the aft curtains for the enclosure so that is a full four-sided enclosure uh, keep you nice and warm from uh, and protected from the elements and then underneath these cushions we do have a little bit uh, additional storage notice that the liner is in great shape the upholstery down here once again is in excellent condition I can't say enough about the condition of the boat let's take it out show you how it runs and uh, show you how that it also performs awesome Good to go. That concludes the uh, presentation of the 2004 trophy. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, take a good look at the pictures. You've seen the video. You see how the boat runs great. It's just uh, all uh, all around package. It's just in great condition. Great little boat to spend the night on, do some fishing. So, from West Palm Beach, Florida, Marine Connection. God bless. Have a great day.